Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Jack the Fall. Destiny 1 had cosmetic items that you could buy with real life money turned into silver through the Eververse vendor. This service returns again in Destiny 2 in the form of shaders, armor pieces, ships, consumables, emotes, and sparrows. I bought $66 worth of silver, and I'm going to buy a few of these packages and open them up to show you what you may receive from them. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps support the channel, and let's buy some packages. Here we are in the tower in front of the Eververse Trading Company, and as you can see in my inventory, I have 5,800 silver. So what we're going to do is buy some packages and uh, see what we get from them. All goods for trade. Take a look. So you can buy the Bright Engram pack, one of them for 200 silver each. Uh, you can get three of them for 500 silver or five of them for 800 silver. There's also the Silver Starter Pack, which is a one-time model for Guardians that want to start off in style. It contains a Bright Engrams, Bright Dust, and Cirrus brand shaders. So we'll buy one of those. Always a pleasure. Open these up. So looks like it'll be some mods, a weapon ornament, and a shader. Some more weapon mods, a hunter cloak mod, chest armor mod, sorry, uh, and another shader, and a small gift of bright dust. We got a new ship, a gold trace shader, a hunter cloak mod, and a weapon mod. Come see me again, Guardian. So we'll check these items out. It's easy math, Guardian. You got the silver. Eververse has not bad looking ship. Broken, broken, broken. Clean up the dust, reorganize my inventory. Alright, let's hope up some more. Eververse is at your service. I guess we'll just buy the uh, five pack. Probably makes the most sense, too. Always a pleasure. Open these ones up. So we got Trasmat effect, leg armor effect, a shader, and some more uh, currency, bright dust. Then new sparrow, and some more shaders, uh, arm mod, and uh, Trasmat effect. New ghost shell, a new shader, some arms mod, two of them. A new emote, watch your back. A new shader, a Trasmat effect, and a titan mark mod. Got another ghost shell. Another shader, some arms mod, and a chest armor mod. So we'll buy some more of them. I love Some more uh, bright dust, uh, some another shader, arms mod, a warlock mod mod. Another sparrow, another shader, some chest armor mods. Another Don the Hat emote, another shader, a transmat effect, and a chest armor mod. Some more bright dust, another shader, Titan Mark mod, and chest armor mod. A new ship, a blue shader, uh, arms mod, and a transmat effect. So I guess we'll just go ahead and buy some more. Let's look at everything after. So we got a new. Uh, Sparrow again, another shader, a warlock bond mod, and a helmet mod. Another sparrow, more shaders, a warlock bond mod, and a hunter cloak mod. Another sparrow again, another shader, a hunter cloak mod, and a weapon mod. Another ghost shell, another shader, a transmat effect, and a weapon mod. Another sparrow, sorry, ghost, uh, ghost shell, shader, weapon mod, and leg armor. Buy some more. Another satisfied customer. We've got a new ship, new shaders, armor mod, and a leg armor mod. A new ship, a shader, a helmet mod, and a leg armor mod. Another ship, another shader, a hunter cloak mod, and a warlock bond mod. Dawn Dusk, a uh, Book of the Dead weapon ornament, a uh, rabbit effect, transmat effect. We got some new hunter gaunt I'm sorry, warlock gauntlets, another shader, an armor mod, and a solar damage weapon mod. Let's buy some more. Eververse thanks you. Another sparrow, another shader, arms mods. Another ghost shell, another shader, weapon mod, and leg armor mod. An exotic ship, 
another shader, a hunter cloak mod, and another trans mod effect. Another sparrow, another shader, a weapon mod, and a titan mark mod. Uh, huddle up emote, arctic pearl shader, a helmet armor mod, and a weapon mod. So I guess we'll buy one more of the five pack. Another satisfied customer. Another one. So we've got more bright dust, a monochromatic shader, guardian white effect, and a weapon mod. Another ship, a shader, a warlock bond mod, and a weapon mod. A ghost shell, a shader, a self-repairing mod, and a hunter cloak mod. Another ship, a shader, arms armor mod, and another arms armor mod. So we've got another shader, a weapon ornament for a mine of its own, for it looks like a sniper, an arms mod, and a weapon mod. So it looks like we're all, it's all ready to buy with this silver, we only have a hundred left. Uh, and so you see the bright dust here, we got some of that, we've got 2,450 now. And these are the uh, items down at the bottom here, that you can also get from these silver packages, that you can just buy with bright dust. You can also get more bright dust by dismantling any uh, of the items that you get from the bright engrams. So now we finished opening up all those bright engrams, let's take a look at some of the neat stuff we got. So here's a few of the ghosts. If they're any special. And then we got an exotic ship, so we'll take a look at what that does. We'll enhance a guardian's journey. Dead orbit package. It's a nice blue shiny one. These are some of the transmat effects that I got. Eververse isn't just a title, it's a family philosophy. Always another mile. And it's got lore on the ship. Tomorrow. Very important. It says, follow the blue flowers to the city and know that even if the planter, planter is dead, they still watch over you. The city's first protectors were Ayane, Takanomi, and her rangers. In the darkest days, we didn't have many guardians, and those who ghosts had arrived were scattered Never across the solar system, goods. far from the people who needed protection as they made their way to the city in the Traveler's Shadow. For the purges that happened in the mountains, the Takanomi rangers guard the refugee roads to the city. The rifles brought down many fallen, as well as human bandits and murderers. But rangers only had one life to give. When they died, they were gone forever. So the Takanomi rangers took to planting blue flowers along the roads they watch. That way, when they fell, a piece of them would live on to guide weary travelers home. So it's neat. It also comes with a crucible blue uh, transmat effect. That's a blue crucible crest. So whenever you respawn or you get revived, it will uh, show up as blue. So here's a few of the new uh, emotes that we got. We got the watch your back emote. Got the don the hat emote. We got the huddle up emote. I'm not kidding, guys. Just in time for uh, football to start up again. Need some new so here's a few of the new uh, sparrows I got. The Aeon plume. Sign here. Nice and shiny. Clean up dust. Reorganize my inventory. Yep. It's a rare home, yeah. plain Negative. sparrow. Negative. I can't follow them down there. You monitor the gunsets. A fifty-five thirty. Red and white Can one. Anything special? It's like a greeny bluey one. Don't know where my uncle finds it. Another rare one. We drove the Red Legion out. We'll do the same to whomever comes next. Plus this one's pretty neat looking. So a lot of your uh, stuff also went to the postmaster, so we'll head over there and check it out. Checking now. To the shells. So there's two shells here. So pretty neat ghost shells in this game. It's an easy map. So that pretty much uh, wraps up the end of the video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do not forget to drop a like and subscribe as it does support the channel. And uh, I'll see you all next time. I hear